Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is curly winged Drosophila when made to true breeding wild type normal winged uh, strains produce curly winged and normal winged progeny in a ratio 1 to 1. And question A indicates the genotypes of two strains make up your own allele designations uh, which phenotype is dominant. The first question is easy, we can get a ratio 1 to 1 when we cross uh, two genotypes, uh, one have to be heterozygous, another one have to be homozygous recessive. And now we have to decide uh, which genotype would be um, wild or which genotype would be the one that would produce curly wing. And uh, basically uh, we have a hint here. Uh, we are told that uh, we cross curly winged Rosophila with true breeding wild type. And what does true breeding mean? That means that uh, whether it have to be homozygous dominant or it can be homozygous recessive. So right away we know that wild type is this genotype. And now we can easily solve this problem. So uh, now we have to cross heterozygous genotype with homozygous recessive. And this is going to be wild type on the left and genotypes that produce curly winged drosophila would be on the top. And here we would see capital A small a, capital A small a and small a, small a, small a, small a genotype here. So 50% of the progeny result of such a cross uh, would be wild type and another 50% would be of the uh, type that produce curly wings. So as you see the ratio would be 1 to 1 in the progeny. So one, two, one. And this is exactly what we see here. So this genotype that produce curly wings and this genotype that produce wild type. So that means that uh, recessive alleles would produce a wild type and curly wing drosophila would result if a dominant allele would be present. And question B, Assume that the curly winged condition is lethal when homozygous if the curly wing F1 flies are crossed to each other, what fraction of the progeny will be true breeding? So basically uh, we have to cross this genotype with itself. So we have to cross capital A small a with capital A small a genotype. So let's see what we are going to get. Uh, we can see it if we build a Punnett square. So once again we build a Punnett square and let's see what we are going to have. We are going to have capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a small a here. One more time where this parents came from. This parents came from this uh, F1 generation. So this was uh, parent 1, this is parent 2. So from this F1 generation we took curly winged drosophila and this is going to be parent 1 and parent 2 in the uh, F1 generation. We also know that uh, dominant allele A would cause uh, curly wings, but we also told that uh, we have to assume that curly wing condition is lethal. So what does it mean? That means that when uh, fly would have two dominant alleles, it wouldn't develop. So we have to exclude this variant. So 
uh, in the progeny we only would be able to see these genotypes. And now the question, what fraction of the progeny will be true breeding? We know that true breeding can be with the homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive. Homozygous dominant in our case is lethal condition and as you see the uh, answer to this question would be that homozygous uh, condition or true breeding would make one sort. So one out of three. And this is going to be an answer for the second question. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.